Hello guys, welcome to Asian Petrol. Today we have the 2022 BMW X6M competition. So let me just show you the engine room first. We have a twin turbocharged V8 producing about 617 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of tour. Engine is made to eight-speed automatic and we have rear bias X-Drive, all-wheel drive system. Okay, now let me just show you how fast this BMW X6M competition can be. We also have launch control, so let's make a use of it. First, we need to turn the ESC off. Keep on holding it. ESC off, put the car into manual mode. Make sure you're on the third stage. Foot on the brake, full throttle. System ready, go! Oh my God, it just pulls like a mad bull. Oh my God, sounds lovely too. Already, it only took 3.7 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. I think that was the fastest SUV we ever tested. Oh my God, what a beast for the size of SUV. Oh my God. <laughs> and uh, auto start and stop, just stop the engine so it can stay more efficient. As you might have heard from my 0 to 60 times, we have a lovely sounding quad active exhaust on the bottom. Diffuser, X6M competition badge and spoiler on the top. Okay, now let me just briefly let you hear how it actually sounds from outside too. And looking at the car from the side, we have a M side mirrors, also blacked out because this is the competition model. And our tester is wearing 21 inches up front, but 22 inches at the rear. Once again, because this is the competition model. It's wearing 315 at the rear, so it's really, really large. And we have a six piston calipers up front and drilled rotors. So let's also do check out the braking performance of this BMW X6M competition then. Wow, what a brake system. It took 2022 BMW X6M competition only about 116 feet to a complete stop. What a brake system. It just stopped like it's nothing. Handles very nicely too. <laughs> wow. There's also BMW X5M. So the main difference for the X6 is this coupe-like sloping roof line at the rear. A little bit worried about the headroom. So let me just show you the second row seats myself. You guys don't know I'm about 6'2". There's a good amount of leg room. There's also soft closing doors, but yeah, headroom is somewhat limited. So if you want larger headroom, then you should probably go with X5. And but still very nice place to be. Very nice leather seats, uh, even M-colored seatbelts. Uh, two cup holders, some storage area right here. Good armrest. And we have a... Some climate control, three stage heated seats for the second row passengers. There's some storage area here. You can put your phone down. And 12 board charging. Hump in the middle. And window actually, it's a single window, but very thick one. Comes down all the way. It's really nice to have manual sunshade for the side. And we have a large panoramic sunroof on the top. So, yeah, pretty good. And the driver's seat is a very nice place to be. We have Alcantara on the top, very nice leather seats, M1 and M2 button on the steering wheel. And the gauge cluster even changes like that, begging you to go faster and faster. And it can also change how your A-speed automatic behaves, just like this. One, two, three. Okay, now let's go out and drive this beast. Then. Whoa! <laughs> It's like a rodeo. <laughs> Sounds really lovely. We have an external mic, so enjoy it with a microphone. 
Almost forgot to tell you about the front design, but X6M comes with a bit different looking low bumper design. And for the M competition model, now we have a high black low C kidney grill. So overall it looks very massive and mean from the front. What about visibility? Well, except for the rear visibility, visibility is quite nice in here. As you can see, we have large windows up to here. Yes, we do not have any blind spot monitoring system, but we do have alert system. And we also have a 360 camera, which will help you in tight spots. So yeah, it's a large SUV, but it's quite pleasant place to be. Okay, before we do talk about engine, let me just let you hear it in the low speed. Right now we're in comfort mode. Even in comfort mode, it just sounds so lovely. It's got that MIDI V8 sound. Ah, so tasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do talk about engine for a second. I have preset my M1 as Comfort, M2 as Sports Plus. In Comfort mode, it's really comfortable, not too loud. Ride is very smooth, handle not too heavy. So I think this even can be very good daily driver. I mean, if you have no problem paying for the gas money. But when you do put the car into Sports mode, everything just becomes louder and everything just Titans are begging me to go faster. I cannot just resist it anymore. Foot to the bottom and it just pulls like crazy. It sounds so lovely too. So the question is, do you really need all this power in an SUV? Probably not, but on the second thought, why not? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> it goes like crazy. An engine is made to a speed automatic. We're also given paddle shifters. So let me just show you working in action. Three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Yes, it's not a dual clutch transmission, but as you have just seen, it's very responsive and quick shifting. <laughs> very lovely gearbox. And in comfort mode, it's very smooth too. So there we have it. Great gearbox. Okay, let's do check out the handling capability. We have an M differential, rear bias, uh, all wheel drive, X drive system. So, should do fine. Let's go with third gear. Oh my gosh, taking very nicely. I can definitely feel the uh, rear bias, all wheel drive system working, but really wish we can just completely turn it off, just like M5. I know this is an SUV, but really interesting. <laughs> but wow, great for this size. <laughs> so when you're all done having fun, you can just turn the car back into normal mode and activate the adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist and let BMW X6M do the most work for you. Yes, this is a high performance model, but this also can be very good highway cruiser. And uh, it just pulls like crazy, even on very high, high speed. And once you start really driving fast, you hear a bit whistling sounds from the A pillar. But I'm driving so fast now. I mean, this would feel right at home at Germany Autobahn, but we do not have any Autobahns here in Korea. so better slow down and great brakes it just rides down hard stops like it's nothing 
Oof. And this BMW also comes with Apple CarPlay looking like this, which is very convenient because it requires no wire. So come on, Genesis, we really need this wireless Apple CarPlay, okay? And meanwhile, let me just let you hear the uh, Bowers and Wickeson sound system. So yeah, it takes the bass quite nicely. Sounds good. All right guys, this has been our 2022 BMW X6 M competition review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And the final question is, do you really need all this power in an SUV? Well, I mean, if you can afford one, why not? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be back with much, much more. So stay tuned guys and see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Takes space nicely. Yeah, and look at this guy handling. Whoa, my God. <laughs>